Naraka Bladepoint just made some interesting balance changes to a few characters on the test server. Many of you have seen the preview of the new character coming on May 8th and know how incredibly powerful Liam will potentially be, so this video will cover all the changes he just got before his arrival to the live version of the game, as well as the changes to Tessa, Hottie, and Monk. Starting with Liam, this first change is pretty important. Magnet Repel Adjustment When Liam uses Magnet Repel while being countered, it will no longer cancel the enemy's gold focus attack. So instead of everything just resetting to neutral with no punishment, Liam and his team will still have to deal with the gold focus counter strike after an enemy's parry. I think this is a good change as many of us felt his defensive ability was simply too good. This is a step in the right direction as now Liam can still endanger his own team when getting parried by an enemy. Next we have Oryx Sword and Oryx Core adjustments, so his ultimates. The distance changed from about 38 meters to 24 meters. Nice, this is good. I thought being able to snag an enemy with the core from over 35 meters away was insane. So this should have it feeling a lot better, and especially with his first ultimate too, he shouldn't be binding people and teleporting 35 meters away. That was crazy too. The first ultimate seems to do less damage now on teleport. It can no longer cancel Ueshan ultimate attacks, and an enemy can only be trapped in the core for two seconds instead of two and a half. Moving on, we have the changes to Tessa. Her previous third skill was removed altogether. I don't think it was very good at all, and not many people used it. Her old second ult also got removed. The new second ultimate is like a combination of the old second and third ultimates. Tessa jumps to hit a shockwave and puts the enchant on everyone in the radius. It costs 55% rage like her first ult, does direct HP damage on the snap, and gives Tessa a large heal. This change makes the two ultimates offer more diverse playstyle options. Sometimes less is more, right? Then we have the Hottie changes. His first skill has gotten a big change. Upon activating the skill, Hottie will pull an enemy towards him. But if Hottie holds the skill, he can choose between pulling an enemy towards himself or pulling himself towards the enemy. The latter was the effect of the old third skill, which is being deleted. This makes Hottie's non-defensive option more viable for more situations. Hottie's third ult is removed, and the abilities from it are added to his first ultimate, so he can place a cube that he or any teammate can interact with to be pulled to it, even while under attack. This will be great with the Hottie lever tech, and any teammate can activate the cube even while silenced. Additionally, he'll have 25 seconds on both ultimates, so this will be a pretty solid buff for Hottie overall. Finally, Monk was reduced to two skills and ultimates. Last spell, his second skill, was just straight up deleted because no one really used it since it was really bad. His second ultimate was deleted as well, so you can no longer grab your teammates with Monk. I've had a lot of fun trolling my teammates with this in the past, so I'm honestly a bit sad to see it go. Grabbing your teammates to heal them was not very useful at all though, and I don't think I've seen a monk actually try to use this skill before. Now his new second ultimate will give him health back when he smashes grabbed enemies, and while the shiny parts feature is gone, headshots against him will do increased damage. It's also worth noting that his jump and stops can now confirm a grab. With these changes, we're seeing the first major round of balancing characters down to two skills and ultimates instead of three. I really like that these all seem to be buffs to dead abilities, so I'm expecting more diversity in the abilities we see once these changes go live. The only change here I'm not looking forward to is Tessa, though. She's been really strong for a while now, and this new second ultimate seems stronger than her old second or third ultimates alone, and I kind of wish they'd have focused on an older hero before Tessa since she's still so new and widely used in all modes. They just made one of the easiest characters to play even easier. Aside from that, the monk buffs are looking really nice. I'm thinking the devs want to see Transformers be competitive again, hence the non-stop buffs to Kurumi, this change to monk, and even the Liam Ueshan interaction change. Hottie looks like he may be viable in team modes now with his new first ultimate, and I really like how they made two skills into one. I'd like to see more viable non-defensive skills in general, I think abilities that win the game are generally more fun to watch than those that stop you from losing, so hopefully we see more of that in the future. These changes also really get people wondering who will be in the next round of ability reworks. We know Matari and Wuchin are getting changes before too long, though it was said to be coming next season. I'd really like to see improvements for Valda since she's been in an awful spot for almost a year now, seeing no competitive play in any mode, but I can't imagine how they would fix her at this point. Let me know in the comments what character you're excited to see get their ability streamlined, and any ideas you may have for how they could change them. I hope you enjoyed this video, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next one.
right, Benchy. We gotta get Benchy out of this. Oh, fuck. I got her. Right here, right here. Hell yeah, turn her. Got her. We're invisible. I got her. Oh, fuck. You body blocked me. Hell yeah. That's what this yeah, cop is all about. Oh. You had to ult to escape your wrath. Oops. That was so funny. She altered to like save herself. And it kind of worked. Save you, bro. It did work. Yeah. You almost, you know, she was really slippery once she was invisible. <laughs> See what I put in chat. Oh, don't worry, we save you, bro. We're almost done. What was he doing? Very bitch. Let's go. Are we juggling him? Get him. Yeah, he needs a reset. We got you, bro. A big heal. Yeah, stop struggling. Get him! Why are you running from our love? Oh yeah, we got him a pretty much a full view. Oh dude, we have a hottie on our team. Where's he at? He's way down there. I got him. I got him right here for you. Well, I'm gonna grab the other hottie. Shoot. He's not struggling. He's just taking his heal. Bro, oh, this guy gets it. Yeah, he got full. He just took his heal and dipped. Yeah, why are we taking this out of the game? It's OP. We saved our out of position teammate and gave him a full heal. Uh, that's really bad. Yeah, we're all dead. He's still laying on the ground. He's not moving. <laughs>